Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Halo video. Uh, today's video is going to be different because as, as many of you guys know, you know, I only upload videos that's related to Halo modding, Halo MCC modding. Uh, I, I haven't done a Halo Infinite video like two years ago. It's been two years, yeah. I mean, if you look, if you look at the channel and see, uh, you know, if you keep scrolling down, you will see when was the last time I've uh, uploaded a Halo Infinite video. But in this video, I just felt like I need to mention it. Um, and that's basically Halo Infinite's population, you know. Um, it has declined so badly on Steam. And uh, I know a lot of you guys um, might say to me, but, oh, Shaban, you gotta, you gotta look, look on Xbox. True. But you guys uh, need to realize, you know, Xbox this generation, well, since 2013, it's been declining rapidly. So my guess the population on Xbox might be around 2,000, 3,000. I tried looking for the population chart for uh, for Halo Infinite on on the Xbox uh, page um, where you see the population number, and I can't I can't seem to find it. But if you guys do find it, just, uh, send me the link. But yeah, so I, I was just on I was just on Steam, and uh, you know just today on Steam, and I just found out that Halo Infinite is averaging around 800 players, 800 players, like. It was declining very rapidly, like like very badly. Like I was seeing, you know, it was hitting in the hundreds. Like I was seeing it, it went up to 959 players. Uh, I think I have a screenshot somewhere, I'll probably uh, show you that. So it had like 900 players. And me and my brother were like, because me and my brother, we played a lot of Halo and we were just worried. It's like, wow, we've never seen it that low. And today it just hit around 800, 800 players. And, and that's just wild, it's crazy. And I don't see a lot of Halo YouTubers talking about the population on Steam. Uh, I mean, I mean they do, but they don't say stuff like, you know, they don't they, they don't really talk about how bad it is. They just say, oh, you know, the population is low, you know, it's around five thousand. But hey, you know, it's, it's high on Xbox. You know, let's look, you gotta look on Xbox, guys, because Halo was released on Xbox first, and that's the only excuse they were put out. I mean, I, I don't want to say the names. You know, I don't want you guys to go over and just have a go at them. Uh, but it just kind of frustrates me them saying that like they I, I feel like they're just, they're just like I feel like everyone's pretending that this is okay and it's not okay you know uh, like I was hearing uh, one of the guys was saying one, one of the Halo content creators, creators was saying oh no you know the game is averaging around 40,000 players 40 not not 14 40 uh, players play on Xbox and that is ridiculous because if that was the case then Microsoft and Tiffany would never ditch the infinite. They would have said, hey, look, there's 40,000 people I'm playing on, on Xbox. And, you know, while on Steam, there's around like 3,000, you know, or 800 or whatever. You know, that's fine. But hey, we've got the 40,000 players when playing on Xbox. Let's just keep making updates for infinite. Dude, dude, where, where did you get the 40,000 number from? I want to see the specific number, 40K. Like, where is that number? Because look, I'm showing you, I'm showing you, look, I'm showing you proof right now. Like, Halo Infinite on Steam. It's averaging around uh, 859 players. And look, I understand Halo has been released on Xbox first and blah, blah, blah. But those days are long gone. Halo's been on PC for like how many years now? Like since 2019, right? Like when the Master Chief Collection came to PC uh, and on Steam. Like it's been it's been on PC for years now. So that so that reason, that, that, that reason that people come up with, oh, it's been released on Xbox first. That's just all rubbish now, you know? Like we can't just keep saying that. You know, you gotta look at you gotta look at it now. It's no longer an Xbox exclusive. I don't know. I don't get why people say that. So yeah, like it's very low. And if the game was really averaging around 40k, then we would have seen tons of updates for Infinite. You know, the last update we got was the, is a match composer, which is really good. And yes, it should have been that launch. And you know, I just I just don't like it when people keep saying, um, you know, there's there's uh, there's tons of people playing on Xbox. I mean, you gotta be real with yourself. Like, how many of you guys? know a lot of people that that will say that say like oh i'm gonna buy an, an xbox just to play Halo. i don't hear any of that i can absolutely promise you this the people i used to play xbox with i actually spoke to them recently and and they all moved to ps5 or and some of them on pc like everyone's everyone's going from X like dude even microsoft are ditching their own platform right they want to put their games on 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 steam and ps5 even ps5 bro like you see, or you see it happening, and why are they doing that? Because no one's not buying the Xbox. So you can't sit there and say, "Oh, there's forty thousand people playing." Is it you not? Like I, don't, I mean, probably when Season Five dropped. Look, when Season Five dropped, maybe there was because I saw the population on Steam just 
rapidly boosted like was around like 20,000 so yeah I was like maybe yeah on Xbox it's probably like 20,000 I guess so yeah altogether it's probably 40k yeah but but I'm talking about now like on, on a daily basis how many times it's hitting that you gotta think about this Halo Halo is not an indie game like Infinite is not an indie game it's a triple A game it's free to play you know, this game should be kicking ass on Steam. We, we should be seeing this game averaging around 100,000, at least 50, like 50,000, right? But we're not even seeing that, bro. It, it's, a, it's a trippy A game studio and people are telling me that, like, oh no, you gotta look on Xbox. You're not looking on Xbox. But dude, there's nothing to look at. Dude, no one, like nowadays, like people are moving away from there. Are you telling me Xbox is bigger than Steam? Bro, I moved to PC gaming in 2013 and even back then, Steam didn't have the best games like GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption and Halo, Marvel Spider-Man, like you name it. But but even back then, Steam was dominating and now it's dominating more than ever before. So yeah, the population is not looking good. I don't know what's going to happen the next two years. It's going to decline even further. So we probably get around like 600, 500 players playing. Uh, that's what I'm worried for, man. Like, I really, I really like Infinite. I really do love playing the game. Like. I think it has fantastic gameplay and style and you know like it had everything there it's just that what really frustrated me is that they stopped doing updates we didn't get we didn't get any new weapons and please don't say the bandit rifle the bandit rifle is not a new weapon it should have been that launch look you look at halo 4 halo 5 um halo um uh, halo uh, sorry uh, halo reach right? so all the uh, so from reach to halo 5 they all had the dmrs uh, at launch right so the bandit like the, like they've changed the name of it maybe because they want to make it look like oh it's a new weapon it's not a new weapon it's an old weapon right so that should be that launch so we got literally no new weapons and we were like where's the bloody um um that brute shotgun whatever you call it but yeah that should have came in we should have got the falcon uh, i remember seeing the falcon i thought well, that was going to come in i'm like oh bro this looks so good yeah that's not coming in so what's going on with this game dude like what so so we're not getting no updates then literally no updates this is what has happened with, with, with the halo franchise overall so it started with all the way from halo wars 2 so halo wars 2 when that game came out i mean i never played halo wars 2 i, I didn't really care for it but a lot of people loved it so um th i think th 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 made, made that game and uh, yeah so they stopped doing updates for halo wars 2 right and a lot of people were quite angry about that and uh, some of the halo content creators as well and, like they wanted to see that game on steam so yeah we didn't get any New updates for that but things got worse so halo mcc so we've got halo mcc yeah so we've got halo mcc obviously on pc um you know we've got crossplay and all that and all the games eventually uh, a few years later they stopped doing updates for the mcc because they said that they want to work on infinite updates and i was quite upset i was really upset i was like damn we're not gonna get any new updates for the mcc and mcc i love the mcc like you guys know mcc is the reason why you know what how we all met through the mcc right the master chief collection and it's the reason why we started streaming. So I was really, really upset. But I understand, yeah, they want to move to Infinite. So they go to Infinite, right? So they go to Infinite, uh, I think around Season 5. Uh, I remember Sketch and, um, what's his name? Uh, Unishirk and I think there were other employees. They've done a live stream, uh, live stream uh, 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 on YouTube. And uh, they were talking about, uh, I think they were talking about Season 5, like showing it off and then... Along with that, they said that they were, they're going to stop doing seasons, stop doing, like basically just stop doing seasonality or something. And that's where everyone lost. There. Everyone was, everyone, everyone got really mad at that. I'm like, bro, are, are, wait, are they shifting away from Infinite now? So yeah, they stopped doing Infinite. And then it got worse and worse, right? So, so, um, I think one of the, um, I think I saw a message on Twitter saying that a certain Infinity were working on a, uh, on a project called Tanker. And, and I was excited for that. Like, I was really looking forward to that. I was hearing stuff like, it's going to be Battle Royale. And I really like Battle Royale. I really liked it in PUBG. I didn't, I never liked Fortnite uh, Battle Royale or Apex uh, Battle Royale. I really liked it in PUBG though. So I was really curious on how Project Tadanka will, will turn out, you know, if they do end up bringing Battle Royale. Uh, I was really looking forward to that, me and my brother. Um, but not many people did. So, so yeah, uh, I have Nova on Twitter. They said that, oh, uh, apparently Dave cancelled Tadanka. I'm like, okay, that's really bad so what, what else do we look forward to again it gets worse so uh, there's a new game that came out recently called called hell divers right and hell Di and hell divers right now is smashing it it's killing it uh, i never really pl personally played the game i've seen a bit of gameplay on halo followers channel and and apparently one of the halo employees i think he used to be x3 dev or something he even said they used to we were working on a halo game 
it was, I think it was a spin-off game. It was a base. It was basically a Halo Three. OD, it was basically ODST theme, like Helldivers game, and that was cancelled. So you. So basically, all of this is cancelled, bro. We didn't get. So we're not getting like no updates for these games for the MCC for Infinite. No Project to Tanker. No ODST spin-off game. What are they working on? I mean, yeah. Now there's rumors. Yeah, I mean, I think it's official confirmed. Yeah, they're remaking Halo CE, but like. Now I'm, and I'm like really worried for that because that might be that might be a reboot. I don't know. Like uh, some of the Halo YouTubers saying, it, no, it's gonna be just a remaster, just like something you know uh, uh, extended. You know, it's gonna be more. Uh, uh, there's gonna be more to it, basically, right? Like basically more levels. You know, more enemies, like fighting the brutes and more weapons and more vehicles. But I don't know that. I don't know if they're gonna do that. Like they cancelled, dude. They've stopped doing MCC update. They stopped doing Halo Wars Two, Infinite. Um, like, like you name it, like they cancel Project, project uh, to tank code. They're definitely not working on a spin-off game. They are definitely not working on a spin-off game. They're just remaking Halo C. How many remakes? How many like remaster games are we gonna have? Like, like I don't want to. I, I do. I don't even want a remaster game. Like if I want to play a remaster game, I will play Halo 3's Crusader's mod, which is outstanding. It's beautiful. I will play SBV3. Beautiful. I will play. You know, I'll go back to CE, you know, just play on Bungie's graphics, beautiful, right? I, play, I will play those uh, those versions. Why do they have to go back and remake Halo CE? Why? Like, why, is it just graphics and, and visuals? Dude, though, the graphics looks fine, the way it is. I'm not talking about CE anniversary, I'm talking about uh, Halo CE OG's graphics. I'm talking about Bungie's graphics, right? They look great. I actually really love playing it uh, in its own form. Why do we have to go back and why can we move forward with Halo 7? Like, at least do this, right? Like, uh, like some people were saying, oh no, they need Halo CE to test, um, what's the name, to test, like, you know, Unreal Engine or something, because apparently it's going to be running on Unreal Engine. Okay, that's fine, I, I understand. But it would be much better if they'd done a spin off game, like, let's say, uh, an Orbiter spin off game, right? So let's say we get to have a, a Halo game where we get to play as an Orbiter, you know? On Sangilius planet or whatever, right? Uh, taking place after Halo Three, and maybe uh, you know, just do campaign. You don't have to do multiplayer. I just and just do a spin-off game uh, of the Orbiter, right? Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, the game can be running on on, on Re Engine. You don't have to make multiplayer. You don't even have to be, you, you know make Forge. You can leave that for Halo Seven, right? So you can have a uh, uh, Orbiter, uh, the Orbiter spin-off game, and uh, Halo Infinite's uh, uh, sorry, uh, Halo Seven as well. So uh, and you know. And you know, I think they can really pull it off, but they don't want to go that route. They want to go back and uh, re remake Halo CE, and they might end up doing like reboot. They want to do it like I think they want to like they want to like uh, uh, merge it with the uh, Halo TV show, and, and from there they want to do Halo Two and Halo Three, and that could ruin it. So why are we going back to the old games? Why can't we have spin-off games? And no one asked for Halo C remaster. That's what's frustrating. Like you should at least give it Halo Three anniversary because. I do see a lot of people, so, you know, still wanting that. So I would understand that, even though I never want a Halo 3 myself, Halo 3 anniversary. I don't understand why 350 and Microsoft are going back to remaking Halo C. And so many Halo YouTubers are defending them. Like, oh no, this is the good thing. No, how is this a good thing? We don't, like, what if they end up rebooting the franchise? Like, what if, like, they've added the stuff that we don't want? want? Like, what if we end up seeing Master Chief's face in Halo C's uh, remake? Just like I've done with this TV show. I mean, bro, the TV show is not even cancelled. They can cancel Project Tatanka, whatever, uh, yeah, and the Halo 3 ODST, um, Halo, Halo ODST theme. They, they can cancel that, but they would never cancel the TV show. They actually bum suck the TV show. That's the truth. They actually bum suck the TV show. So they'll want to, they'll probably end up grabbing that and um, putting it into a Halo City remake. And that's how they're going to introduce Sony fans. Apparently, it might come onto PlayStation 5. That's how they're going to introduce Sony fans. I knew what, Sony fanboys might love it. Then we can be like, oh bro, Master Chief's face looks badass, you know, I love him without the helmet. That's going to uh, take uh, Halo's o o OG identity away. Oh my god. Sorry for ranting for this long, man. I, do, I just hate seeing this franchise, you know, just declining so badly. Like, I love this franchise, you know. I've been playing Halo since Halo CE on, on the OG Xbox. You know, the Xbox showcase, I was, I was expecting something new. You know, I want to see, like... I want, I, like, just give me something Halo related, like, just show me Halo C anniversary, whatever. You know, like, that's how much we're dying for new Halo content. I mean, I still don't want Halo C anniversary, but you guys get the point, right? Like, I think them going back to Halo C is not a good idea. And, I mean, this this video is about the population. Like, the population has declined uh, because of the bad decision that's being made by Microsoft and T43. I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know who takes the blame, but. 
But whatever is happening at FIFA and Microsoft is not good. This is not good. And thank God, I thank God I'm not really, I'm not making no revenue from Halo. So I can be more open and honest about the games and, you know, express my feelings. Most Halo content creators can't, can't really do that. And I can't blame that for them. You, can't, you, guys, you guys can't blame them because at the end of the day, they all remain, they are, they are making money, you know, from this, uh, from this franchise. And, you know, like, so they have to like balance it, you know, they can't be too harsh, you know, on people to or Microsoft. So they have to like keep it balanced because if they, if they send out a negative video, like, uh, which is very truthful, even like that could push a lot of people away. So, so when that pushes a lot of people away, they will stop, you know, coming to the videos. Like you guys know, know who, which, which hater YouTubers I'm talking about. And that's why they have to keep it balanced. And, but with me, I don't have to keep, keep it balanced. I can just go all in. I can, I can, I'm not trash talking, you know, for three here. Like they don't, you know, good job with, 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 you know, with some of the stuff like them bringing Halo to, to, to the PC. You know, uh, you know, Microsoft and Tiffany, they, they've done some good decisions, like them bringing Halo to the PC. Now there's like a rumor they want to bring it to the PS5, and you know, I'm open for that, you know. I really want MCC, like the plan was, like, you know, the plan was, I thought they were going to go for, you know, the Halo Master Chief Collection going to the, going, going to the PS5. So, so at least when the MCC gets uh, repopulated again, Tiffany could maybe go back to it, or maybe another studio would come in and make updates for the MCC. But no, we're not, we're not even getting that, but... But hey, at least we're gonna at least like maybe it's one day you know one day where they're all gonna get um, a Halo game on the PS5. I just hope it's not on C anniversary because I just feel like it might be ruined again. You know we we know what Thief Three's track record is like, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean last honestly the last time I felt so hype was was the Halo Master Chief Collection. You know you know was announced on PC and on Steam. Like that was the last time I was so hyped for. I'm sorry if I sound very negative in this video. I just want to express. My feelings you know towards it towards the game like the population is not doing too good and this is where Halo is going to decline it's going to go dark uh i don't know i don't know what i'm going to do as a, as a Halo content creator but at the end of the day i'm not making no revenue from this so i have nothing to lose i can just like you know add another add another game to stream or just go back you know streaming mcc so i have nothing to lose but i do feel worried for the other Halo content creators that actually are making a living from this uh, I don't know what's gonna happen to them. Uh, I do. I do wish them. I do wish them the best. Um, I see a lot of Halo content creators will say, you know, oh, I'm gonna branch out. I'm gonna do this, and they and they do they do go ahead and do it, but but eventually they'll go back to you know making Halo content because they will just look at the viewers. Uh, the, like they look at the views and it's not progressing, you know, because they're branching out. So they're just going back and doing Halo, and and that's kind of like uh, messed up because you're basically trapped with a declining game with with a game that has barely has barely any content you know uh, i'm talking about halo infinite and uh yeah i just don't know where i honestly don't know where Halo's gonna go from here like we're gonna get a c remake uh probably in in 2026 i think tom warren says something like that so so halo is gonna go dark for two years so in 2026 we have to wait for um we maybe have to wait for e3 around june to just to be announced and hope that it's good and hope that like you know it's amazing so we don't know if it's gonna be good or bad so we have to wait for the announcement in 2026 i can promise you this halo ce getting a remaster or a remake whatever it's not gonna bring halo back they need to move on with halo 7 they need to give us more spin-off games like give us give us a lot of spin-off games give us give us a, a good uh, uh sequel halo game you know halo 7 and make sure everything is packed at launch do not remake halo ce i don't feel like it's gonna bring back the population everyone we already played halo c i love i loved halo c don't get me wrong but i've already played that yeah and look i know a lot of people will say oh you know you know shaban but, but what if like they can expand the levels and give us new weapons and give us you know new vehicles hey dude you can do that with the halo c mods there's a bunch of uh, uh halo c mods that you can do that on that they don't have to make a uh, uh, remake halo c or or reboot or reboot the game there's no need for no need to do that they need to continue where they left off with left off with infinite <sighs> but anyways uh i probably said enough um yeah so yeah i'll probably end the video here video here i, I do apologize about the rant about the negativity look i'm not here to have a go at the game or having go at other hate youtubers how they uh, you know praise this game i'm not i'm not saying that i'm not saying you should go over and just have a go at it i'm not saying that I'm just a little bit frustrated that I'm just very frustrated frustrated how the game is is declining so badly so so badly like 
I'm, I'm just kind of like embarrassed to tell people that, oh, you know, I play a lot of Halo, I, I make Halo videos, I do Halo streams. And they'll be, and everyone gives me this look, like, why are you still on there, bro? They do honestly give me that look. I, like, I used to defend Halo back in the day. Like, I used to still look, stand up for myself. No, bro, I love this game, you know? But I can't do that anymore. But anyways, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you guys like this video, let me let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the Halo franchise, uh, where do you think it's going, and, you know, yeah, just leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also uh, definitely uh, follow me on Twitch. I do stream, uh, I do stream Halo on Twitch. You know, uh, here and there. I've just been taking a break recently, but I'm going to try to be consistent. So go ahead and drop a follow on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.